uh, Mike, um, when we ask what is the role of the church in the political arena, we have to acknowledge that Christians, not only now, but throughout history, have answered that question very differently. Uh, what would you say are the keys that we as Christians should understand or focus on as we attempt to answer that question? I think you've got to remember that every situation is very contextual. You know, the the early Christians in uh, the early centuries of the Roman Empire were very much, I think, content with trying to keep their head below the radar. You know, uh, they, they weren't trying to get the right christian senators elected to places of power they weren't trying to that that they had they were trying to avoid not being thrown to the lions so exactly. that's kind of it is and you know in other parts of the world if you look at modern day hong kong christians there are very divided should the christian churches be part of the pro democracy protest should they stand up for the erosion of their basic human rights under the chinese government but there are other churches in Hong Kong say, look, let's just let's just stick to spiritual things. Let's just mm. preach the gospel, make disciples, governments rise and fall. Let's not all tether everything to one particular political approach to to government in Hong Kong. So I, I think you have to appreciate that everywhere you are is going to be contextual. Yeah. Um, the sort of the church state issues you face in the state of Georgia will be very different from the church state issues you face in the country of Georgia, you know, to the south of Russia, you know, to the <laughs> north of Armenia and Turkey. Everywhere the issues are slightly different. The history is different. How the how religion has interfaced with politics and culture it is very nuanced and bespoke where you are. So the first thing you've got to know about political life theology is it's all very contextual. Yeah. 